So our lesson is about transformations. And when we take an object, or like, like a triangle or a square, and we move it some way, we want to be able to describe how we moved it. So there's three basic movements of transformations. So first is the translation. And it's more commonly known as the slide, where we just take, this is triangle A, and this is still triangle A. It's the same triangle. We just took it and moved it over and up. So if we were to describe this transformation, we said we translated it triangle A over er, right and up. So the second kind of transformation is called a rotation where we have this arrow and we just rotated it one-fourth of the way to the right or one-fourth clockwise. So we there's if, it, if we had done it a full rotation it would have been down here we could have translated it or excuse me we could have rotated it three quarters of the way and it be here or we could have done a complete rotation and it be right back here so the last kind of transformation is called a reflection, where we reflected this shape over this line right here. This is just going to be called our reflection line. And we reflected it over here to the right. Just like a mirror, when you look into a mirror, it reflects your image back on you. That's why when you move one way, it looks like you're moving the other way in a mirror. So let's do some practice with these transformations. And we're just going to describe them. So I had the letter F right here. And now I have it like this. So if we were to describe that, we would say that it is a reflection because it was literally flipped over to look like that. I was talking about this one. Well, I have this letter and now it looks like this. Well, it's not a translation because if it was just a translation, it would look like that. It's not a reflection, because a reflection would look like that. So it has to be a rotation. And it was rotated once, twice. So we can say that this is a half clockwise rotation. It was because it was rotated rotated twice until it got upside down. This next one, we have this one, and this one was our original one, and this is our new one. So this was just translated up. So we have this
and this is, we're just going to call this point A. So point A is here on this hexagon as well. So because A is in the same place on both of them, we know that it was moved right and then down. So translated right and down. So those are the basic transformations and they're going to help us out later when we look at triangles and try to compare them to one another. So make sure you come back for our next video where we talk about the parts of congruent triangles and proving them to be congruent.